everyone, I'm coming to you today with a super exciting video. This is the first episode, well, the first official episode in a series I'm going to call Hills House. <laughs> so if you've been watching my channel for a second, you may remember Hillary from a few videos back. We made picture ledges together. She's my kid's stepmom. She has amazing style and she and her husband, my ex-husband, are remodeling their house inside and outside and they've agreed to let me do a couple projects for my YouTube channel. Some of you think that's weird, but it's not weird. You're weird. If you like this video while you're watching, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the rest of the series, Hill's House, you're definitely gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. We have crazy fun content planned. Two words, motor home. So excited. So you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and come back and see what I do with Hillary. Hill's house. Hill's house. Oh, I hate myself. Anyway, like I said, they're remodeling inside and outside, and today we're focused on the outside, the front porch in particular. So, without further ado, watch what I built. Okay everyone, this video is not a perfect step-by-step -step tutorial per se. It's meant to give you inspiration and show you how I built this hanging bed swing myself. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial complete with cut list, material list, and detailed instructions, I've made the plans that I drew for this swing available to download as a PDF, and you can grab those if you click the link in the description box below. I cut all my wood to size off camera and then I started building the base as you see here. The most important thing here is to make sure everything is flat and flush and as square as you possibly can get it. When purchasing the wood for this project, make sure that you're selective with each and every board, making sure that they're all straight and not warped. If you end up with a warped board, which can totally happen if you're not careful or you pick really, really cheap lumber, then you end up wrestling with it a ton just to get it square. Also, I haven't mentioned this yet, but make sure that you're using wood glue at every single joint and connection to really secure this thing. Wood glue is so dang tough, and combined with finish nails, this thing will be really secure and able to hold the weight of the whole family. So I made the base, and then I added the inside supports down the middle of the bed swing frame. I probably should have measured these to be more precise, but in true Sarah fashion, I eyeballed it and just spaced them out as evenly as I could to support the weight of the twin mattress that's going to go on top. I added a big old blob of glue to each end, and then I just threw a couple of nails in to secure each board. And here's how we're looking. The base is done, and now I need to get going on the arms of the swing. So the arms are pretty straightforward. There's four altogether, two shorter ones for the front of the swing and two taller ones for the back of the swing. They're made out of two 1x3 pine boards and I simply just glued along one side of the board and then nailed it to the other. Then I took the arm pieces back to the base of the bed and attached them at each corner, making sure to attach the two shorter arms to the front of the swing and the two taller ones to the back of the swing. I made sure that the front also had clean 1x3s facing out and then the seams of the other 1x3s were facing the sides if that makes sense. It'll make the front of the arms look super sleek. Also, quick mention here, if you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to come and hang out with me over there. I post lots of fun behind the scenes stuff and have some really cool giveaways coming up so check that out if you want. Next up was adding the side rails. I gathered up these 1x2 boards, cut to the right size, and laid them out so that they were really easy to grab. And then I switched out the 2 inch nails in my nail gun to these inch and a quarter nails. I also used a little 1x3 scrap wood to use as a spacer between each of the 1x2s. I nailed the first rail flush with the top of the back arm pieces, and then I used the 1x3 spacer underneath that drew a line for where my next 1x2 would go, and then I'd blob on some glue and nail the rail in place. I found it easiest to nail one side of the rail with just one nail at first because then the rail itself would still be able to pivot up and down so that I could get perfect placement on the other end. Then I would come back and throw a second nail into the first end to really secure it. Then I just did that over and over and over again until all my rails were perfectly in place and secure to the bed. So easy peasy. Also drinking game, take a shot every time I say the word secure. I'm just realizing I've said that like 1,000 times, sorry. 
Next was adding the top of the armrests to the bed. They have to fit snug to the sides and the back and the back armrest was kind of in the way so I needed to make a little notch in the two one by three boards. I did that by measuring three quarter inch and two and a half inch to account for the sides of the arm at the back and then I used a square to make sure my lines were super straight. Then I attached each board to my workbench with some clamps and used my jigsaw to cut out the notch. The thing about using a jigsaw is to just take your time so that you can be super precise. I wanted the arms to fit really snug so I was very slow and very careful. And I ended up with a really great little notch cut out that fits so perfectly. I glued and clamped it to make nailing it in a little bit easier and then I nailed from the back into that 1x3 that I just notched out. Then I glued and secured the front of the arms as well. Moving on to the very last piece, I grabbed the top of the backrest and glued and nailed it in place, making sure to be really straight when going in with my nail gun so I didn't split the wood or shoot a nail out the side. That happens to me all the time, including on this project, and it's not my favorite thing to fix, so I really did try to go slow and be precise with the freaking nail gun. And here it is all put together. I filled the nail holes with some wood putty, sanded the heck out of it, and then I stained and sealed it off camera because I figure that's pretty self-explanatory stuff, but here's a bit of footage for what I used for that. Okay guys, so here's the before footage of the porch. Knowing it was going to need to hold the weight of the whole family, I obviously wanted it to be safe and sturdy for them, so I had a professional come in and help me prep the ceiling because there were some complications with how their porch was built and it really wasn't going to be an easy one and done kind of thing. Normally you can just hang some heavy duty eye hooks into the ceiling joists, but unfortunately their porch was missing some very crucial structural easiness for this project, so honestly we just had to make it work. And here it is all hung and set up. Ah, I'm totally obsessed with it. I think it turned out so great. I'm really proud of it. They hang outside with their kiddos plenty, and so I'm really excited that there's a spot on their front porch where they can spend time together. And the whole family can climb up on this thing and snuggle up. Alex and Hillary are actually out of town right now and have not seen it, so I'm so excited for them to get home and try it out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think, and if you happen to try this hanging porch swing, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see it. I love seeing what you guys create. And that's a wrap everyone. I post new videos every single Sunday so make sure you subscribe so you never miss an upload. And thanks for watching. I will see you next week.